Hey, what's up, family? My message for you guys today is, even when you guys think that it's not working, trust me, it's working. A lot of the stuff that is working in the background, it may not seem like it, but it definitely is moving. It's just moving at a rate or in a plane at a rate in which we can't see nor understand. We can kind of grasp the concept of it and understand it a little bit, but completely, we don't understand it. Um, just think about like when you're exercising or like when, uh, you know, you're changing the way how you look because of the exercising, right? You don't really like see the change until like a long period of time. Or like, let's just say you're doing the stock market and you're looking at uh, how much you made for today. It's gonna reflect very differently if you look at how much you made for the year. And a lot of times we just focus on the here and now. And when we measure things based off of the here and now, then things don't really show how they appear all the way because life is not just short moments, it's also long moments. Um, and not to say that you over time is the complete you, but it's also a part of you, just like how the short term you is a part of you. Um, a lot of the times we just get so caught up in the here and now and trust me I think that it's very important to live in the here and now but in a certain type of way like when we're doing concentration and meditation it's best to be here in the now because we start to understand with the principle of cause and effect that certain things that we do now are going to have consequences and consequence not being a negative term but being a positive and a negative term so whether i eat the right thing now or eat the wrong thing now is going to have a consequence right and that's what we're more or less like getting at um when we break down that principle of cause and effect when we're applying it to like what we're actually talking about um i asked the universe for a sign today and uh the only way to get a sign or to get the message that the universe is trying to communicate to you is to be silent if you're trying to understand someone or you're trying to hear what someone's trying to say to you it's like you have to be silent right to hear the message to be able to receive and a lot of uh, the times we're always talking and we're always saying like hey uh i want this i want this i want this and it's not always a time for prayer sometimes it's also the time for meditation because that's what gives us discernment uh when we concentrate on our thoughts but not uh being manipulated and willed by our thoughts because these are our thoughts you shouldn't be willed by something that you possess and a lot of the times we let like the car the job the people like you know we let those outside forces drive us and uh they give us our will when our will should thrive from the i and the me is the thing that should manifest uh the eyes uh inspiration or creative energy every time and sometimes we mistake the me for the I, but a lot of the times we associate ourselves with the me. So we fail to see the point of the I, but maybe the first time God was invented is when Moses found the plant and God said, I am that I am. I'm pretty sure that was probably Moses, but let me know what you guys think. Metalite being like in the game. Squaw! Peace. No glasses today, but we still getting it.